But still, he's still not a player to be reckoned with, and you really should not be messing with Daisy at all. P yeah, Peach Daisy at all. Because you know once you get hit once, that, that could be your life. Yeah, going in with the... We also have to account uh, for the fact if Soul X knows how to do his flood counselors, uh, it'll make it a lot harder, uh, a lot harder for Fazalaza to try and and play his game style. Because mm -hmm. Zelda definitely did not deal with burst pressure too well. Oh, there we go! Hits. Okay. <laughs> Thank God Ricardo was out. Oh, and another thing to note about like Zelda is the fact that he has a. Uh, I don't know what neutral B is called. I don't remember. Uh, but. Nehru's Love? Oh, it is Nehru's Love. Yeah. Nehru's Love. So it's like, like that invincible option. So like if Solex doesn't do these frame perfect uh, combos, he could just, yeah, Nehru's Love out of it. Yeah, that, that's pretretty much it though. But if if Sol X un, like base it out, uh, it's a lot of end like he's got to deal with. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. immediately, no, not going to take that first stock. Fair's just not going to kill yet. Oh, gets, wow, he was at 30. Oh, I think that's, that might have saved him. Very nice conversion for Fazalaza here. Ooh, not oh, tries to get the down air. Oh, just like that. Back throw not going to kill just yet. That did get nerfed. But, and we have a stitch coming out and oh, immediately yeah. throwing it away. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need that. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Don't need it when the booty comes out, though. Yeah, immediate Peach Bomb going to come out. Going to take that first stock. Fazalaza had an opportunity to take that stock when he had uh, Peach in his, uh, in his uh, parasol, but he just didn't get it. So it's unfortunate. Yeah, that is like not not getting the back air there while uh, Soul X was floating in his parasol was a game changer for Fazalaza there. He's gotta recognize it a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. All right, gonna get Knight out, but very nice neutral get up from Soul X there. Yeah, that was yeah, it was a really good wait because he waited right until uh, it was coming out, and then he neutral got up to use the invincibility so the uh, guard wouldn't hit him. So immediately sniped him out with the uh, Din's fire, but not gonna get the sweet spot. All right. Another Peach Bomber gonna pull a turn up here. And nice call out on the jump. Oh yeah. Now up three stocks to one. Soul X is looking really good. I think a couple more percent and up there will start killing. Or maybe it'll kill now. Uh for Zelda, I think it's like 150-ish. True. So. Be, yeah, it looks like he's trying to get the trying to get the throw now. Yeah, he needs trying to get this kill and he really needs to. Alright, gets him with the punch of the night. Yo, when the when the knight punches you, that's that's low key kind of funny work, six to watch. Like he he can have a sword if he wants it, but he decides to punch you. Bro, he didn't build it yet. <laughs> yeah, Fozlaz is spending a little too much time trying to build up the uh, the knight, and Solex is just calling him out, which is what you really need to do. But like, I want to see Fozlaz like when he's building up the knight to just call it out a little early to like mix up his timing. Yeah. And Solix here is doing really well at keeping Fazalaza on the ledge here. He's not really allowing him enough space to to start pressuring or getting back uh, or to get back to neutral. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll tries to go for the lightning kick. Oh, Great wow. parry. Up tilt in there, gonna get some decent percent on. He's actually starting to chip him, uh, chip out Sol X. Yeah, it looks like Sol doesn't have an answer just yet. He definitely just wants to get this this yeah. kill right now. But he needs to be a little less antsy about getting that kill. Yeah, you see Fazlaz being a little too patient right there. He had Solax with like no shield left. He could have just shield poke with an up air. Fazlaz really needs to play uh, safe. But he is still getting this damage. And goes for the runoff there. Not going to hit though. Back throw. Is that going to be it? Shouldn't be just yet. Nope. Yeah. Like, like you said, not going to kill just yet. All right. Going to go with the back air. And he does get him with the... Slow cancel bears, bro. You can't get away from him. Dang. Good stuff to uh, to Soul X and good stuff to Fazalaza. Yep, to Fazal, to yeah, Fazal was starting to bring it back a little bit, but again, he, he needs to mix up his timing more. He's trying to just fully build up the, the guard. Like, see him just really start mixing that up. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, going over to game two. <laughs> All right, game two once more. We're going to Kalos. Uh I like this. I like, uh, I like this pick. You have a lot of room for uh, Waza to set up his guard. You can really just set it up and restrict a lot of space. So like, the idea is that you set up the guard so it'll go like half stage. So it'll turn from like you playing on a full like almost FD like stage to like a Smashville stage. And 
What? My God. <laughs> what a call out. Well, wait a minute, bro. Faza immediately, he's like, all right, I need you to do this on God. All right, bet. <laughs> all right. Wow. Swole well, X answering back already, almost taking the stock with that four there. A really good roll from Flaza. I gonna go with the down throw. Oh, wow, lightning, lightning kick. kick. Yeah, missed the tech on the platform too. And now Flaza is playing with an incredible lead, and I don't think Solex knows what to do. Goes for the Peach Bomb off stage. I like the idea. That was interesting. The Knight actually did not damage Solex, even on, well, when he threw out the Peach Bomber. Oh yeah, that's true. Ooh, hitting that tech though. We got those. Oh, and his uppy was canceled by uh, by Peach down air. Oh wow, very nice oh my pressure. Oh god, from that Plaza. almost killed. He had the cover on the ledge with the knight and behind the knight with a forward smash. That's bro. very good from Plaza. Yeah, bro, Plaza's playing amazing right now. Bro, he looked like game one didn't happen. Bro, is this what a stage can do? <laughs> Definitely looks like it. Flaza is definitely going in, but that back are going to take that immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, gets the nair, but immediate jab coming out. Jab really fast in this game. I think it's like frame four or something. I have no clue. I honestly thought he was going to go with a nair out of shield there. All right, another forward smash, not good connect. Now, Flaza does have a really good lead, but Solex is starting to bring this back. So you, he really needs to make sure that he plays well with the lead. Oh my god, Sol didn't... It didn't seem like Sol knew which character he was, and honestly, I didn't know which character was what until he started falling. Real unfortunate. So now we got a complete reversal of momentum. Flaza playing fantastic that second game. So let's see where we're going to go third game. And I did not see the stage. Yeah, no reason to. Oh, okay, going over to Daisy, personal favorite. Okay, let's go. I do like Daisy more. Mm -hmm. FD. All right, FD. Gonna be the pick here. Gonna open up with another knight. Yeah, really good stage choice. It's like Callus, but you know, without the platforms, like obviously. So you still have all this room to do all your uh, Daisy combos, like we're seeing now. Okay, okay, Solax. Where was this game too? Honestly, he literally was not given a chance. All right, gonna Daisy Bomber to the ledge there and gets past the Knight with a roll. Plaza is running at Solex right now. All right, rolling in, the guard immediately gonna hit him. Yeah, fiddling himself a little bit too much. Plaza's gotta be a little bit more careful about how he's approaching him. All right, very nice, gonna break the Knight with a back air there and very, uh, parries the Dim Slayer. Oh my oh. gosh, barely misses the, uh, the turn up there. How many turnips can Peach and Daisy have out at once? I think you can pull out like you know as many as you want, but it's like you have to throw them up, and eventually they're gonna come down. Okay. And it's not like like the Lynx bombs where you can only have like two, and that F smash is gonna take it. Plaza taking the first stock now, and immediate revenge stock. Get out of here. All right, Solex setting up Cam with this turn up here. He oh get that out of here. Thirty percent already. Oh, tries to go with the up air, gets beat up by the down air. Yeah, unfortunately, he went for a double jump up air. Tries the lightning kick, but the fair hit him first. Like, apparently, crown's better than the kick. I don't know. They're both infuriating moves, honestly. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right, Finn's fire once more. Another knight coming out. Oh, my gosh. Solex had the read with the turn up, but he accidentally threw it down. Those are the up B. That was the first time we've actually seen that this set. Oh, I like the build-up with the guard, but just not uh, timing it well so we would actually go on stage. All right, just rolling past that forward smasher. Gets him with the, uh, with the back air just immediately after the, uh, after the roll. Mm -hmm. All right, 100, uh, 140 to 67. But uh, that 67% is against a Zelda, so one lightning kick out of shield, and you're dead. Dash attack actually going to kill still. Yeah, and dash attack never really expected, so... Most of the time, it's going to kill you, since most of the time, it's always uh, fresh. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fresh. You don't see uh, Peaches used a lot. It does work, actually, now in this game, instead of in Smash 4, where you just fell out immediately for doing nothing. Yeah. All right. Going to throw out that Knight once more, but it I like to get up breaks. attacks. Yeah, if you hit Zelda during the buildup of it, it'll just break before he uh, starts moving forward. Oh, huh. OK. A real important tech. <laughs> Goes to the Din's fire, tries to read him going low, but it ends up going high. Quaza's right. going for these F smashes a lot. Quaza definitely wants to take the stock, but he's being very, 
very impatient about it. Another F smash, and that's going to take it. Then we've got last stock game three. Very good cross up from Waza there with his forward smash. Running right under him as uh, Solox trying to hit him with a fair. Yeah, but this is a bit of a deficit, but like, Zelda is that character that literally gets 40% per conversion. Oh, oh my gosh, my this God. is the tag. I don't think anyone would have expected that to. It seemed like Zelda's hand on her teleport got hit mm -hmm. by 